Well, it kind of started around this time last year, actually. Um, I was over in Toaster for the English Derby final, and when we kind of walked through the gates, there was kind of just greyhounds just kind of scattered around the place. They were just promoting them as pets and stuff. And I was like on the phone straight away. It was like the week before the Lars final. I was like, Mum, we're doing this next week, I'm greeting people when they come into the track. And um, it kind of just started from there. And like, Gain had the stroll to Gain Homes walk, and a couple of us kind of met after that, and we were like, we have to try and do something like just to promote them. Like they deserve everything. Well, sure. John. It is a new concept now, and we said last few years it's only really started, and we're just trying to promote them and show people that they're quiet and that they're pets. And we're here just to let people see that the dogs can, that they're quiet and they're placid and that they're nice. And I am involved in Friends of Cork Greyhounds because I raise a good share of dogs in Cork, and I raise them through their career. And when they're finished, I retire them, and and they're good pets. Typically end up either in maybe Germany or maybe England, most, sometimes, but uh, mostly when I have retired greyhounds, they're mostly they're, they're from my family background, so people like that, so, but, uh, and all my lads are involved in dogs, so the, the dogs are well used to families, then it's as easy to rehome them. Well, I think it's very important to the future of the industry that, uh, you know, the animals that retired greyhounds are looked after properly and treated properly. I think it's I think it's vital to the future of the industry, yeah. Yeah, people seem to be becoming a lot more aware and like that you have to do something for them and like the dogs enjoy it and like it's nice to meet people that you're meeting every week in the track. Nice to meet them on a different setting, like it's a social outing as much as anything. My father and my mother were involved, very involved and um, I suppose I got involved when I was about 12 or 14 years and I'm still involved. Um, we, we decided to come along this evening because we think this is a wonderful idea, adopting greyhounds as pets and we really want to see this um, promoted because greyhounds make wonderful pets uh, when they retire. They have a fantastic temperament, um, they are so um, easy to, to manage. A lot of people think greyhounds need a lot of exercise because they are big, but really two walks a day access to a small paddock or a garden suffices. I'm kind of a start, you're kind of getting a bit of the stairs and stuff and then you meet them on the walk and they're kind of like, oh, what are you doing? And you're like, just have a look at them. Like, they're just sweethearts, really, you know. They get to come up and they get to rub them. Like, you're seeing, people are seeing them in a different context. You know, I suppose, like, if you go into a track or see them running anywhere, like, first impression you get of a greyhound, you see them with their mouth open, like, all you're seeing is teeth, really, like. Whereas here, you're just seeing them as they really are, like, just strolling around the place, happy out.